Hello everyone, uh, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, Sound Broadcaster to tweet uh, whatever song is playing to your Twitter account. And this will all be done by using a PAL script. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to do this using WordPress. This process will work for WordPress or any other type of website that you might have. All right, so your first step uh, is to create an account with Twitter. So I'm at the Twitter website. And if you don't already have a Twitter account, you want to uh, sign up for Twitter here. And when you do, you'll get a Twitter ID. So since I already have a Twitter ID, I'm going to log into my account and show you what you have to do inside of Twitter. So mine is Radio Jazz, and my password kicked in, and then I'll do a sign in. And I logged into my account. And if you scroll down somewhere to the left of your Twitter account, you will see some links. And you want to look for one called Developers. Click on that. And then for some reason, once you get into this area, Twitter wants you to sign in again. So click on the Sign In button and enter in your username. That's your Twitter username and your password again. And then log in. This is logging you into the Developer section. Once you're here, you should see up here at the upper right-hand side here, a link called My Apps or My Applications. Click on that. And right now, I have uh, two apps in here already. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new app. So I'll walk you through it. So click on the Create New App button. Type in a name. This is going to be any name. And I'm going to type in here, Twitter Sam Integration. Type in a description. I'm going to copy and paste this here. Under website, type in your website name. In my case, I'll put in ripradio.com. And your callback URL, you want to put in your domain. So I'm going to copy this. And you want to put in here a forward slash Sam Twitter forward slash then Sam hyphen tweeter.php so make sure you put your domain name in forward slash sam twitter this is going to be a directory I'm going to have you create and upload to your server and I'll show you that and then a forward slash sam hyphen tweeter.php we'll scroll down click on yes I agree then click create your twitter application I should mention you can't use the name Twitter. So I'm going to take that out and just leave it like that. Sam integration, same thing here. Sam integration. Scroll down and then click create your Twitter application. And up here in the green, it says your application has been created. Please take a moment to review and adjust your application settings. So it's going to be within this section here that uh, I'm going to have you copy some information. See where it says access level? Let's click on that. Modify app permissions because we're going to change the permissions here. And we're going to set this from read only to read and write. So tick on that radio button then click update settings. Next, I want you to click on the API keys tab. And we're going to copy all of the information that we see here. We have an API key and we have our access token information. So two sections here. We're not going to use everything, but we'll just copy it over to Notepad. And I have a Notepad window open up here. So I'm going to copy everything I see here onto Notepad. And everything I see down here also over to Notepad. Okay, so we're done here. And you can actually log out of Twitter if you want to. Now that you've created a Twitter account and you've gathered all the information from that Twitter account onto a Notepad file, and let me show you that Notepad file that I've created, and it's here. 
And we're going to use some of this information. We're going to be using the access token, the access token secret. That's all the information that you see like right here. Move this out of the way. The next step is to modify some files. So on the website, you will download a file called Sam Tweet. And it's going to come to you as a zip file. And let me increase this so you can see it. That's what it's going to be called. And you can use a program such as 7-Zip, WinZip, Power Archiver to unzip the file. So I'm going to unzip it. And it's going to create a folder. Inside that folder you have some other files. You have a, a source directory which contains these files here and an index HTML file and a sam underscore twitter text file and this file here is blank there's nothing inside that file and we're going to modify these two files here so i'm walking through the process of modifying first the sam hyphen twitter dot php file then i'll walk you through the process of uh, modifying the actual twitter pal script so let's do the sam hyphen twitter dot php file modification so let's open that up and you can use notepad or any other text file program that you have. And I'm using Notepad Plus, and you can get that uh, from the link on the website associated with this video. So I'm going to open that up and see here where it says in between in the gray area here. Now, on your text file program you use, this might not be in a color, but you want to pay attention to what it says consumer key. And if I show you the information we gathered from Twitter, we should have that. We're going to see a consumer key here. And we're going to see a uh, consumer secret key, an access token, an access token secret key. So there are four pieces of information that we'll have to enter in to this sam-tweeter.php file. Now, the consumer key is actually the API key. We're going to copy this part right here. And we're going to place it right in between these quotes. Just like that. Make sure those quotes are there or this won't work. Next, we're going to do the consumer secret token right here. And if you come over here and look at the information you copied from Twitter, see so you have an API secret. So we'll copy all that right there. Be very careful. Copy. And we'll place that right here in between the quotes. The next one's going to be your access token key. So again, if you pull over that information that was copied from Twitter, you, just, you should see something that says access token. There it is. Don't confuse it with the access token secret. That's something different. So, but the access token, I'm going to copy all of that. And we're going to place that in between the quotes. All right. And the last one is your access token secret. And you should see that right here. Access token secret. And we'll copy all that information. And we'll place that in between the quotes here. All right, we're good. Once you've done that, come up here and do a file. And we'll save the file. So this is done. We've done that, and that file has been saved. Let's go ahead and modify the PAL script, the Twitter PAL script. So we'll open this up in Notepad. And in my case, I'm using Notepad+. Plus. And inside this file, we're going to modify two things. And they both deal with your domain name. So you're going to scroll down. And you're going to find uh, several areas here where it's going to say your domain name. And you want to scroll over that and put in your domain name. In my case, it's going to be RIP Radio. And there's another section in here that has your domain name. I believe it's over to the right here on this script right there.
And what this script's going to do is, is that uh, it's going to uh, tweet this message here, now playing on your domain, a particular song and the artist of that song. There is one other thing here I want you to take note of uh, right here. It's this dislocation, C colon, backslash program files, backslash spatial audio, backlash, Sam BC, backlash Twitter. And inside that Twitter directory resides the Sam underscore Twitter text. So what you should do at this point here, in fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and save this file because we modified it. So we do a file save and let's create this directory here within the sam bc directory and we're going to place inside this directory that blank text file that i gave you which is right here so i'm going to open up my my computer section and go to c program files spatial audio this is where your sam broadcaster was installed Sam BC and inside this directory, let me make this details, I'm going to create a folder called Twitter. So I'm going to right click, new folder, and we'll call this Twitter. Just like that. And I just noticed something. And it might be a mistake, and I believe it is, and we'll fix it. Our path right here is program files spatial audio with the S being capitalized and the A being capitalized. I believe in the script that wasn't the case. Let's double check that. So if I go back to this PAL script and if I open it up, there it is. I see spatial audio here is all lowercase. I'm going to change this and make this S a capital letter and the A a capital letter. All right, so we we have that folder created. Let me save this again. And let's take this file here, the Sam underscore Twitter text file. Let's copy that and place it inside of that directory. I need to go back to it. I should have left it open, but no problem. And as we say in Portuguese, now our problema. And let's go to spatial audio. There it is. Sam BC. And there is that Twitter directory we just created. It's empty. I'll copy that into there. Now it's not empty. That's good. So we are all set as far as setting up the Twitter PAL script. So our next step now, we need to go ahead and create some directories or create a directory on our domain server. And then we'll go ahead and set the PAL script and run it in uh, Sam Broadcaster. I've launched my FTP program called FileZilla and I covered FileZilla in a previous video and this is how you transfer files from your computer up to your web host server and I'm going to connect to my Rip Radio website server so I'm going to do site manager and I'll select Rip Radio and do a connect and this right here this symbol here represents the root of my server yours might say public underscore HTML or might say web but at any rate you want to create a directory in the root of your server called Sam Twitter and I think I already have one created let me scroll down just to double check it I have Sam folder I have Sam Twitter so I'm going to delete this just to show you how to do it so I'll delete this folder delete directory all right it's gone so I'm gonna click on this up here and do create directory and we'll call this Sam Twitter S A M W I T T E R just like that Sam Twitter and click OK and that directory is created and it should be in here there it is I'm gonna double click on that to show the contents of it down here and as you can see that folder here has nothing in it I'm gonna take all the files inside this directory here that we created I'm going to upload them to actually we don't have to upload this one or this one so the PAL script is not uploaded to the server so we're just going to upload this one here called Sam hyphen tweeter PHP and I'm going to take that and drag it here and release and it uploads it into this directory and there it is inside this source folder or the SRC folder let's open that up and let's upload everything inside there to 
that very same directory, SAM Twitter. So when you're done, inside the SAM Twitter folder, you should have an HTML file called index.html, an oauth.php file, a sam-tweeter.php file, and a twitter.class.php file. Four files should be in this directory here. And we're all done with this. So we can close out the FTP programming. Our next step now is to run the PAL script. So I've launched my SAM broadcaster and I'm going to go to my desktop C and here in my PAL scripts window I'm going to click on the plus icon, click on the automatically start script, click on the folder icon and navigate to the location of that PAL script that you just modified and I always place all my PAL scripts in one folder and you should too, call PAL and we want to find that PAL script and there it is, Twitter Dot pal. We'll select that and click open and click OK. And it places it here. All you have to do now is start that PAL script. So I'm going to do a right click on it and select start. Running. And now it's saying here waiting for one tracks to play. So when you see that, you know that that PAL script has been configured correctly. So all you have to do now is simply play your songs through Sam Broadcaster. I'll start something up here and once you do that uh, what is ever playing here is going to appear on Twitter and it will say something like now playing on ripradio.com is springtime and laughter by Basha and Spiral John all right I hope this helped uh, this is Ronnie J from internetradiostation.com thank you for listening